I just asked my sister-in-law if she would want to work out with me today and she actually said yes. So I'm super excited. I'm not going to run alone today. Yay! <laughs> On day 13, this is exciting. I have gotten up out of bed once again, but today I'm not alone. Thank you, Jesus, because I hate working out by myself all the time. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I really hate it. So, I have my sister-in-law. Hi. <laughs> so, I'm, we're excited. We're just doing 10 minute walking and she keeps a good pace walking. So we'll probably go even farther today <laughs> than I usually do. <laughs> Yeah, I have a very short leg. She has long legs. So this is what happens when you're a short person. You have to keep up with the tall people. So you learn to walk very quickly. So I think we're going to get farther today just because of that. And uh, yeah, it's good. It's Sunday. It's 72 degrees out. Air quality seems pretty good today. Yesterday was horrible. I was like dying. But yeah, so we're going to do this then go to church but I'm just gonna kill it today I feel good so that's a good sign but I will see you guys after my run all right I finished or we finished our 10 minute run we did really well so it was a good pace it was nice to have someone to talk to while I ran it gets lonely you know when you're by yourself all the time me. She did all the talking. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but you you talked a little. It was good. <laughs> so now we're just doing our walk back. We're starting to recover. The air quality didn't seem too bad, but still can tell there's a little smoke in the air. <sighs> but it felt felt good. And yeah, I'm not gonna video a ton because there's cars. But I'll do more inside the house. But it was a good run. And now we're going to keep a good walk pace on the way back and finish this out at day 13. All right. I finished the workout and stretched. And yeah, it was really good having someone to actually hang out with and run with and talk with. So it's kind of nice to break it up. Um, this is day 13. So tomorrow... Um, Will be two weeks which is really awesome um, so I decided what I'm gonna do on Sundays is do a shorter portion of my actual running stuff and do a little bit longer portion of the video being about just things that I'm learning and going through and overcoming so today I want to talk to you guys about just the last two weeks and what's been going on and what it's felt like to get back into shape a little bit and so yeah, basically I started 13 days ago, and the first day I went out, it was super hard. <laughs> like, just everything from breathing to running to all of it. I was just super out of breath. You can go back and watch that video. But um, yeah, it was just really, really rough. And then I was pretty motivated um, to keep doing it for the first week. But once the second week rolled around, this last week has been super hard. To actually just get up out of bed but I've done it every day which I've been really proud of myself and about um, I think Friday it started easing up and it was just easier kind of flowing back into that routine but there's definitely a mind game um, with it and just making sure I get up and do it and being consistent with the times in the morning really helps during the week um, and on the weekends it's nice to just sleep in and get up and run when I feel like it so I give myself a little bit of a break. Don't have to be super rigid to the point that I'm wearing myself out or something. So I try and do 6 a.m.s during the week. Um, and then I do, you know, 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning on um, the weekend. So it's been going really well. Um, I feel a little bit stronger this week, definitely, than last week. Um, I've had to... The calorie thing, I think, is my biggest challenge right now. Even yesterday, I ate really well, but it's just still not enough. And I just 
can't stay hungry. So I went and bought some power bars yesterday, so that'll help give me like almost 300 calories right off the bat. Um, but yeah, I'm still missing my calorie intake by a, a few hundred calories every day, which is just not good. So that's my biggest challenge right now. It's the biggest thing I'm trying to overcome. I got a free sample of some protein powder yesterday when I went into a um, like a fitness kind of protein-ish store. I can't remember what it's called, but anyway, so I'm going to try that. I used to do muscle milk, but then they had that whole class action suit about all this arsenic and crazy stuff in it. So I'm going to try this new one, see if I like it, because um, my protein intake is also usually really low as far as percentages to, compared to carbohydrates and fat. So um, just the nutrition side of it seems to be the most difficult for me right now, which is going to make running more difficult. So I have to continue to work on that, make that a huge focus. Um, I'm going to be out of town starting tomorrow um, after my run. So tomorrow's run will still be here in where I'm living. And then I'll be um, somewhere else the next four days for my run. So that'll be fun to break that up. But I'm going to be basically at a conference all day, every day. So from morning till night, 8 a.m. to like 10 p.m. every day. So um, I'm going to really have to make sure I have enough healthy snack foods and fruits and hummus and veggies. So I'm probably going to make up some more of that and then um, just really focus on that. Because if I don't, like I'm, I'm going to get sick this week because I'm going to be doing so much. So I have to make sure I'm sleeping well, make sure I'm drinking enough liquids. I have been doing really well on drinking water, so um, that used to be a big challenge for me, but it's definitely gotten a lot better um, and a lot easier. So if you find a water bottle you like, it tends to be easier to drink water. I don't know what's with that, but it works for me. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about my process and, and what's going on with me, and um, I'm really glad I started this journey. I'm really glad I'm running every day and not taking a break right now just because I'm actually only running 10 minutes a day. <laughs> So, um, and it's going really well. My body feels good, um, not too sore, um, a little bit of tightness. So again, that's another challenge is focusing on stretching, but basically that's kind of, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, so every Sunday I'm going to make a video that maybe isn't just me talking, right? It might be me cooking or, you know, doing something else that, um, just really can help show you where I'm at on my journey and also inspire you to go on your own because that's why I'm doing this like I'm just making these videos one to motivate me but also to motivate you and get you out there and honestly in 13 days I feel so much better I have so much more energy during the day I um I like my runs are going better every time um like each few days I'm getting like I might have a rough day but then I always bounce back with a really good one so um, it's just getting way easier just do, just two weeks you guys like if you do this for just two weeks it'll get you in this really good routine of feeling really good and so you won't want to stop and it's amazing how much better I feel in just the last two weeks so anyway you guys I'm gonna end the vlog here today I'm gonna come up with some great ideas for some other videos this week and um, yeah, give me a thumbs up for th day 13 of my fitness journey and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos and I'll catch you tomorrow morning. Bye!